Um, I want to thank everyone again for uh, having us up here and um, having us be able to speak to you. It uh, really means a lot to me that I get to talk to the Tea Party. Um, you know, I was at a forum a little while ago, a couple weeks ago, and I was, me, and there was only one other Republican on the stage, and the rest of them were Democrats. One of them was Mark Patford, actually. Um, and I get to listen to them um, talk, and they feel the questions from, from the audience and things, and it was basically, for every answer of what our problems was, um, the answer was, oh, well, let's just spend more money. Um, it, it was it really like that. It was like, oh, well, we have an education crisis in this state. And one person would stand up and say, well, we need more money for education. And then every other person on the stage would say, yeah, more money for education. That's what we want. And it was like, okay. And it goes, we have an infra the next question was, oh, we have an infrastructure problem in the state. And the same people. Oh, more money for infrastructure. That's what we need. More money, more money, more money. Now, for every single question, it was healthcare, infrastructure, everything. It was more money, more money, more money was the answer to solve all the problems. Then when they were asked about small business and what they would do for small business and how they'd help them, if they would lower the tax rates or, or get rid of regulation, the answer was no, no, we can't do that. Can't help small business, can't, can't lower the regulations. We need the money. We need more money for all these other programs. And my answer to them was, what about all the money we already have? And what about helping all the small businesses and the people who need jobs so that they can actually earn money and then put more money into the economy? And then maybe we might have more money in the economy for all the things that we need more money for. And that answer didn't go over well with a lot of the people, a lot of the Democrats in the audience and the people who are more liberal. Because um, they just want to hear that there's a silver bullet. And it's just, we just fire a silver bullet and every, everyone gets more money. And where we're going to get that money from is every corporation, every company, and every small business owner in the entire state. Because they have all the money, let's just take it from all that. And I know I only have like 30 seconds left, but in this election, we have a lot bigger things to worry about than just whether we're going to get our economy out. That's a huge one. But we have a fundamental decision to make in November on where this country is going. Whether the country that we grew up in, the country that your kids are growing up in, is going to be the same. And whether the state of Florida is going to be there as a bulwark against what's going to happen. So we need to all stand up. And we need to fight for this country that we have right now, and we need to make it better, and we need to fight for our state. And if I get elected to the Florida legislation, that's what's on my mind. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be like my opponent who's sitting there and he's only waiting for the 50% of Democrats that happen to be in the district to vote for him. We need someone who's going to stand there and fight every single day for us. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Sorry I went over the time.